hello guys and welcome to this tutorial um, i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this flyer using canva without wasting much time after signing into your canva account let's go to create i mean um, create a design right and then you select the custom size i use 1080 by 1080 for this design so let's just use that all right so you can click on the link in the description to get these elements okay so basically when you click on that link it takes you somewhere like this and then you download all when you download all it comes down as a zip file you open the file the file gets opened as such that's if you have a if you have um, the winrar so you just drag and then you drop it anywhere on your desktop and then you open this okay so that you can use the elements i just wanted to make everything simple for you guys all right so let's go let's go let's go let's go right so that's our cup we tap on it and then it appears here so this borders around the, um, the elements i usually like to i mean um, narrow them down so that when i'm selecting another object um, next to the element it's much easier for me okay so there we go i'm trying to center my image that looks like it's centered so i press my alt and then i scale it down when i press the alt it makes sure that it keeps the position so in this case it's still in the center um quickly let me add my other element that's the almond um, splash element all right let me scale it down the thing about graphic designing is that when you are doing it you have to make sure that it looks realistic and i mean um, the size of the splash should be kind of like how it will look in real life you know even though they are different elements let me just take it all the way to the back um, select everything Control a bring it down just a little bit and then i just change my background okay so what next the tapioca all right so this is it i usually like to have multiple elements of the same kind so that gives me the liberty to choose different elements as and when i want them so i want to make this tapioca look um, a bit i want it to pop so i'm just gonna edit it a bit go to my adjustments uh, my pump up the contrast okay i want it to look blacker exactly great so i'm gonna scale it down just a little bit okay so let's see that's my first tapioca right next let me quickly upload my coffee bean all right good so that's it coffee bean so think about it if you have elements like this and then you have to use multiple coffee beans you know you can just use it as it is as in like you crop one out and then you have still the rest to use later like this so that's one trick I always like to do or use. So whenever I look away, I'm looking onto the design I have by me. That's the picture. I often use assistance to make my design faster. Okay. So when I keep looking away, I'm looking at the design itself on the tablet over here. I like to zoom in to get um, close to what i'm doing i mean so that i can get it to a, a good position when i'm zoomed out i feel i don't have too much control i want a lot of control over what i'm doing you know, you know? so i'm just gonna print pr press Control alt and then the left square bracket to take it all the way back i need some more coffee beans so control d to duplicate right so aha so this is where you see the trick coming in play so you see i have a, another coffee bean i can use right up here i don't need to go and drag and drop another element neither do i need to du just du duplicate this one if i only duplicate this one it's just going to look repeated so this trick it really helps me a lot control alt then the left square bracket again alt and then drag okay it duplicates it and then takes it where you want it to be okay so with this particular design the the whole idea is to make the items look as if they are wrapping around the tea cup okay so i just don't want to be cutting off um organic looking things you know things that look organic are like um liquid and stuff like that when you cut it off it doesn't look it doesn't look organic <laughs> whenever i duplicate the same thing i often do not use it as it is like um, you see the way i flipped this one right away and then i'm rotating it a bit it makes it look sometimes a little different it's debatable yeah so what do you think of the tutorial so far let me know in the comment section
if that's not too much to ask. Am I talking too much? Am I going too slow? I know my voice is a bit hooked. It's like 3 a.m. This is the time I could get to um, set up everything. I had a lot of requests to do this tutorial, so I had to make sure I did it, you know. So, um, since like yesterday, <laughs> done, you know, yeah, I had to get applications and things running to be able to do this. So, I'm, I'm pretty excited. It's, it's working finally, finally. And let's see, maybe I'll even do two. <laughs> two. Uh, it doesn't matter. So to select um, an element behind another element, you, 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 you hold control, the control key down and then you tap on it, it will select the element behind the element in front. So um, basically this design is kind of like to create some kind of movement, you know, around the cup. So you realize that these ones are not lying down flat because the cup itself is not sitting down flat. So everything needs to be like aerobic. So if you look at all of these items, I try to create kind of like a circle, you know, circle, 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 circle. So it's just kind of like wrapping around. I think I've said it already. I don't know why I'm repeating myself. Maybe it's helping someone. I don't know. See, sometimes when you crop around, you just have to be careful so that you crop it properly. So I don't have any funny things flying all around. Sometimes you can also hold it out, you know, to give you a little more control and then it crops proportionally left and right. Yes, this looks much better. So this, this is a cool trick, you know, in in in, uh, in designing. Sometimes when when you can't do anything about the, um, a bad design or something of that sort, you try to hide it. You know, um, these are two different elements: that's the splash and then the cup. And there's nothing I can really do about it. Canva has done well; it can't, but it can only go this far, that's far. So I just try to hide where the splash is happening. You know. So it takes your mind off the fact that I mean they are not really in sync or it's not natural. Okay, so this is just a trick I use. I used in particular for this particular design. Yeah, and I think it worked. Did it work? Let me know in the comments, guys. But I really like to know what you think about the tutorials. I really like to know what you think about how I'm doing everything. Is it helpful? What, what do you think I should change something? I mean, do you have any questions? I'm here. That's the reason why I created this. So I think so far it's looking great. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's looking it's looking great. With a do it tune, you can select any one, and then usually I go for the white up here, and then I try to uh, work on the shadows till I get the desired. The desired look. Pardon me guys, I was so much in a hurry to get a video started, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Frederick Tego and this channel is Nopsyros. I used the cloud to create the cold effect, so I had to turn it around, play around with it, as well as with the transparency. So you play around with it and then see how best you can, you can work with that. Maybe I'll create a separate video on that alone. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the back circle to it. So in the elements, there's a, that's it. Orange blur circle, so you can search for it and then you put it right there. And then what I do is that I just change the color to white. So then I reduce the transparency just a little bit. Select our control A. Try and position everything well. Guys, what do you think? So far, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section. I'm just alt dragging the lights, the white space behind it. 
just to make it it's a little more dynamic this is just something that came in mind i'll see how it goes it works well we keep it if it doesn't work we get rid of it okay so time for the shadows yeah so this is something i also like to do with regards to the shadows i hold the alt drag it in you know so it just kind of like creates um, a nice effect so it gets thicker in the middle what do you think art is subjective so okay so i hold shift starting from with, with outside i click i go inside click again click again then i group it now i try to duplicate it uh, so it makes the shadow just a little more intense maybe it's a little too intense let me just reduce the transparency i think i like what i see yeah. so far so good yeah okay so now let's create the banner i'm just gonna change it to the square for the banner i tried a rounded rectangle kind of style because i had seen it and i wanted to try it but it didn't work out so i changed the shape to a regular rectangle but i'm gonna post a different video on how to do banners using canva because the banner took so much time i had to speed through it I feel like the the cup itself is a bit blurry so i'd want to sharpen it and then these are the elements i want to make them rather blurry over here the tea cup looked blurry so i decided to sharpen it and rather blur the coffee beans and the tapioca You just have to add the names. Alright, so over here I decided to take away the white background from the pictures because um, the white was interfering with the white letters, you know, the boba. Yes, but you can decide to keep it in. It's, it's, it's purely up to you. Alright guys, so this is the final result of our project using Canva and I hope you are able to recreate your own. I'd love to see it so you can share with me on Facebook and Instagram, also here on YouTube at Nopsyros. And you can smash the like button if you found this video helpful, subscribe and then hit the bell for notification. Thank you and I'll see you soon.